Check one, two. Welcome back to segment number uh, seven of Scott Sports 101, round one of the NFL draft. And the Colts pick just came in. And with the New Orleans Saints, look, uh, they took, uh, before that one, number 14, the New Orleans Saints took uh, Chelyusli, uh, uh Funga, uh, offensive tackle uh, from Oregon State, as you know. And with the 15th pick, the Colts took a... Uh, uh, Latia, a two, Latu, edge rusher from UCLA, from UCLA, and he put up some big numbers with UCLA last year, and he can really make the plays. He's a defensive end edge rusher, and he can really work well with the defense. And right now, the uh, Seattle Seahawks are on the clock right now. <laughs> We're waiting for their pick to come in. So they're interviewing uh, uh, Lila Tu. Uh, uh, Latu from uh, UCLA. So, uh, and fans are excited for him to become a member of the uh, Indianapolis Colts. And, uh, and, uh, he did, and they're really excited at uh, uh, UCLA. And and uh, Ricky, congratulations. I appreciate you. Thank you. Guys, he put an end to the run of offensive players 14 straight. That was the longest streak of offensive players taken at any point ever in the common draft. And uh, the Seahawks are on the spot. And he, he was, this week of really longest players ever to be waiting. And uh, but he really put up some big numbers with uh. And uh, we're waiting for the Seahawks pick to come in in just a few minutes. Uh, and uh, the Seahawks are a team. I feel that they need to draft a quarterback or a wide receiver, running back, or a linebacker, or a defensive tackle. And so. Uh, Oh, I didn't serve, but if your spouse, parent, or grandparents served in the military, you can join USAA. Yeah, my grandpa did, so I wasn't in, but I was talking about your sir. Oh, USAA for the military. And because uh, Seattle, they do need an additional quarterback. So I feel that they may need to take a quarterback. And, uh, and so uh, we'll see if they do. And because they, they do need a, a few more pieces of the. Uh, uh, puzzle, as you know, and uh, right now the drafts are coming out. But the Seattle took it down. We're waiting for it to come up on the screen. Uh, and uh, uh, and uh, uh, and uh, as I've said uh, before, uh, and as I've uh, said before, uh, we have had uh, <clears throat> six QBs uh, go off the board uh, in uh In uh, uh, round one, in this first round of the uh, uh, NFL draft, and uh, I feel I kind of had a feeling this was what was going to happen, and And I really think uh, that we could have some more quarterbacks go off this board uh, before this uh, uh, draft is uh, this first round of the draft is over. And we're now at the 16th pick, so we're halfway home in, with this first round. And so, uh, 
And we're uh, back with the draft. And we're waiting for the Seahawks pick to come in. And the Seahawks are on the clock, but we're waiting for their... Uh, and we have not had a lot of trades, but we have had some big surprises in this first round. One of them being J.K. McCarthy going to the Minnesota Vikings. Another, uh, Bo Mix going to the Denver Broncos. Uh, and Tulsi, uh, uh, Tulsa, Tulsa, uh, uh, Fuga, uh, offensive tackle, Oregon going to the Indianapolis Colts and, uh, to the New Orleans Saints. Excuse me. That's where he's going to, uh, to that's if he was going to the New Orleans Saints. And, uh, 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 I mean, that was close. And this is, it has been really surprising this first round. And uh, I really got to tell you, I, I've been surprised uh, this uh, first round of the uh, draft. Because there have been some surprising uh, moves. So. And uh, you've got to know there will be some trade ups, if not tonight, uh, tomorrow. So, and so, uh, we'll have to see if we uh, get a trade up uh, tonight. But Seattle's pick is in. We're waiting for uh, Roger Goodell to come back to the podium. Uh, so we will uh, direct your attention to the main stage video screens for a special message from United States and, uh, forward station at Osan Air And we are about to have a special message from one of the uh, uh, United uh, States. Uh, from the uh, United States Air Force. 48 miles from adversaries. No, let's listen into that. And the freedom of 51 million people. We're almost here at Osan. Back to you in Detroit. And so it's been, now it's about to try to pick us in. Uh, we're waiting for Roger Goodell to uh, come up to the uh, to the podium. And we are about to find out who the uh, the uh, Seahawks picked. Do not go unnoticed. Thank you so much. Who the Seahawks picked with their first pick in round one? We're about to find out. Let's listen in. Byron Murphy, defensive tackle. And then it's like Byron Murphy, the second defensive tackle uh, out of Texas. And this is, I, I think they need a defensive tackle. And it was defensive lineman of the year with uh, Texas as well. And I think this, he got, got one of the best defensive tackles in the, in the league. And, uh, this, I think, was a good pick for the Seattle Seahawks. And uh, I really think this was a good pick for them, and they needed to really take uh, this pick with uh, – uh, Oh, we've got a trade alert because Jacksonville's on the clock. They are trading their pick, but who are they trading? It's, they are trading it to Minnesota. That means – that Minnesota is now on the clock. So the Jaguars trade their pick number 17, the first pick in the first round, to the Minnesota Vikings. We'll see who they take momentarily, and their pick is in. We're waiting for Roger Goodell to come back to the microphone to give the results, uh, the pick selection, excuse me. So we will find out who they take in just a matter of uh, moments. So. I will tell you who they have taken in just a matter of moments. 
So, uh, but uh, um, Lila Murphy the second put up a lot of big numbers with uh, Texas last year as a defensive lineman of the year in 2023, and he could really make the plays when I uh, when they need him to when when the team needed him to, and he'll do it with Minnesota with uh, um, Seattle. Excuse me, he's going to Seattle, not Minnesota. They're going to Seattle. That's where Ryan Murphy the second's going. His family's excited. Everybody at uh, Texas University is excited. And, and so and so we'll see who Minnesota has taken in this. They've already taken a quarterback in this draft. And the Seahawks are excited to have him. He's going to be a great addition uh, to the Seattle Seahawks. And uh, but they do need guys who have really good pure athleticism because Seattle, they, they, they had a pretty fair season, but it wasn't their best season. But they do want to get back to the playoffs, and they do need a few more pieces of the puzzle. But the Vikings pick is in that was traded by, to them by Jacksonville. Let's see the taking. Roger Goodell at the podium. Let's listen in. With the 17th pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Minnesota Vikings select Dallas Turner. Linebacker. And they select Dallas Turner. He sacked the quarterback 10 times last season. Coach reported of the SEC. Dallas Turner. He just turned 21 in February, but he started 26 games for the side after being a defensive player. They take Dallas Turner. You can't pass up. Uh, Look at this. Is he a finished product? Absolutely not. But when you look at the first step, he's a Dallas Turner. And uh, he had position versatility. And and he really put up some big numbers. Can you bend the arc? Turn the corner. Yes, Dallas Turner can really put up some big numbers. He can make the plays when you need him to do it. He can really get, get rid of the ball fast. And, uh, yes, you do. And Dallas Turner, he can really put up numbers. And he's an edge from Alabama. That's what he is, Dallas Turner. They picked an edge from um, uh, Alabama. But he had a few times where he was inconsistent, but all in all, he put up some big numbers. And so... And, uh, yeah, uh, both he and Brian Murphy were very similar, had similar numbers. And I think he's going to be a great addition to Minnesota. I know the, his friends and family are excited. The Minnesota Vikings are excited. And everybody at uh, 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 Alabama is excited. The Cincinnati Bengals are now on the clock for the 18th pick overall in the draft. Uh, and uh, they're now going to interview uh, uh, Dallas Turner. And he feels it's a very good motivated franchise. He's excited about it to join him. We gave it the 17th pick overall. And the Bengals, I feel, need to take a uh, an offensive lineman, or either that or a wide receiver. We'll see who they take. But he just wants to build on being a good person and a good teammate, and he's excited to be with Minnesota to become a member of the Minnesota Vikings. So, uh, so he's going to be with his new Vikings teammates, and uh, he'll be uh, a rookie. He'll be training. They'll be developing him. So, And the Bengals are on the clock right now. We're going to take a break. I'll tell you who they have selected right after this. 